So one of the big things that uh, we're facing as women, as black women uh, in particular, and it just is what it is. And you are going to have to make a choice. Um, are you going to allow this thing to keep you in bondage? Or are you going to find your path to freedom? And the thing that we are facing and dealing with is uh, in many cases or in lots of cases, the woman makes more money than the man. I've been happily married for 26 years to Demetrius Richardson. As I said, Grandma B planted the seed in my life and Demetrius Richardson surely has watered it. Um, but it's no secret that for the great majority of our relationship, I have been uh, the breadwinner. But for me, that doesn't mean anything because his love, his courage, his protection, um, his caring for me and our children, um, that is the way that I've been able to make money. Without him doing the things that he has done, uh, I wouldn't be able to make our money. It is our money. So I know that a lot of you are in new relationships or you are in relationships um, that need uh, some fixing or you are in relationships um, that need some guidance and you're not there yet and it's okay. So I have gotten so many uh, inboxes and uh, you know DMs and messages on my website from women who want to be free and you're trying to figure out, okay, so how am I going to make this work? I make more money than him. And if you are anything like me, you grew up with the grandmama that said, uh, what's yours is yours and what's his is yours. <laughs> yeah, that's what my grandma said. She was like, listen now, always keep some money to the side and what's yours is yours and what's his is yours. Now, I love Grandma B, but you know, Grandma B passed at the age of 98. Um, she hadn't had a man for about 50 years, all right? Uh, maybe a little bit more than that, but 50 or maybe even 60 years, okay? So I cannot take on that, that belief system and make it apply to me uh, in the life that I'm living today. Times have changed. Women uh, are getting more education. Women are, uh, you know, back when she was coming up, women couldn't even buy a house without their husband. Women, in many cases, couldn't have a bank account. Uh, women stayed home. So things were different then. So some of the things that your mama, your big mama, and your Medea, that they're teaching you, you know, love them, give them a kiss, smile, or do whatever, but you can't apply that stuff today, okay? You're going to be alone if you try to apply some of that stuff. So I'm just going to go through some of the questions that I have received. I'm going to try to give you the best answers that I can possibly give you. Um, the first question is, um, okay, so dear Lynn, um, I don't mind paying for things uh, that we enjoy together, but I want to know where his money is going. How do I handle that? Okay, that's a very fair question. So you make more money than he does um, and you're okay with that and you feel like you're not being taken advantage of and you believe that this is a relationship that is based on trust and integrity and you have established some common goals uh but you want to know where his money is going let me tell you something that is a reasonable request that is a reasonable uh thing to want to know now let me tell you how it worked for me in my relationship my husband just gave me his whole check okay now let's be clear i messed it up all right so that might not be uh, necessarily be the answer for you today but he would come home he and he used to cash his check at the courage exchange yes honey we old school so i was like baby you need to go get a bank account he would cash the check he would give the whole check to me eventually when we had joint accounts you know he just gave me the check and i controlled the money i handled the finances and so on and so forth so how do you do that today well you're gonna have to have an honest conversation with your man and at some point in the relationship, once it gets more serious than just a few dates, and once you are sleeping together, and you are sleeping together more often, or whatever it is that you're doing, and I'm not judging what you should do. I have my beliefs about sex before marriage and all of that kind of stuff, but that's not what I'm talking about here today. I am talking about what is real and what is happening. So you are spending time together, you're sleeping together, you're at his place or he's at yours, and now you are uh, planning your schedules together um, and you are collaborating on are you going to his mother's house this weekend or your mother's house or where you're going and are you going out for entertainment now, it's also a time to start talking about money okay and I recommend that you have that discussion 
before you start sleeping together. And here's how the conversation goes. You ask your mate, you ask your man, you know, baby, what do you want uh, for our future? How do you see if we're if we're together? Now, I'm not just saying because you don't want to run them away. I'm not saying that we are getting married. I'm saying if we were to spend our lives together or the person that you see yourself spending your life with, what do you see for that life financially 20 years from now, 30 years from now? How do you picture your retirement? Ask them, you know, and if he says, you know, I... I plan to have a successful business and I plan to retire by the age of whatever that age is and I plan to own a home and then you listen to all of those things and you nod your head and you you enjoy what he's saying and then you ask him say okay baby do you have a plan to get there do you have a plan all right then ask him um, can you afford that what now the lifestyle that you're talking about um, uh, you know, have you made any mistakes in the past? Just ask honest questions. And if he gets offended, then let's be clear. Again, that might not be the person for you. That's probably not going to be the relationship for you. If he gets offended, ask him why he's offended. If it's the way you ask the question, if you seem condescending, then you might need to apologize and restate your question. But what you want to do is get to the bottom of it, right? And so once he shares with you, that either he doesn't have a plan or he's working on a plan, then you ask him, say, can I help you with the plan? Can we work on it together? Can we um, start to map out what that looks like? Okay, so that starts with, let's, let's, let's put together a budget for you. How much do you make? Um, what are your bills? And then you can start to kind of see where the money is going and offer some suggestions. And maybe he just might allow you to say, baby, okay, hook me up. You know, the men that I know that are in happy relationships, they say happy wife, happy life, all right? That's what they say. Now, you might not be a wife yet, but if you are a wife-to-be and they're saying that they love you and all this kind of stuff, then they want to make you happy, all right? So that's how you handle that and you take it from there. You have an open, honest conversation. You look at his budget. You put, And you may have to put your budget on the table too. All right, and then you have some goals, and then that is the foundation upon which you then make future decisions about where you're going on vacation. Are you going to pay for it? You can kind of see that he's not just spending his money on a bunch of bull crap. Okay, you can see that there is a plan, and you are moving forth in that plan together. All right. Now, here's another question. Um, we're going out to dinner uh, with uh, two other couples. It's our turn to pay. My man can't afford it, but I can. What should I do? Okay, so this is a sensitive issue, ladies. Now, here's the deal. Your man um, and his manhood, it's important. It just is. You know, people want to talk about all these equal rights. Some stuff is still, chivalry is not dead. There, there are some things in a relationship. I still want my man to open the door. My husband still comes around to my side of the car to open the door to let me out when we get home. Those are things that he does. So your man's image and how he feels about his manhood and taking care of you especially around other men you know you and your uh the other two couples are going out to eat and uh couple number one the man paid on the first dinner and couple number two uh the man paid on that dinner now it's your turn to pay and he doesn't have the money here's what you do first of all you talk about it talk about it don't get in the situation and then have him embarrassed because you already know this couple, these couples, and you already know what the game plan is, all right? So talk about it beforehand. And when you talk about it beforehand, maybe there's enough money in his budget to pay for it. And if it's not, if there's not enough money in his budget to pay for it, then perhaps you all open a joint account for entertainment. Now, for me, it will be a business dinner because, you know, I don't do anything unless it's business. So it's a tax write-off. We're going to discuss some business. We're going to discuss your business, my business, his business, our business, all the business because it's all business to me. And it's going to be a tax write-off. But perhaps you open a joint checking account or a debit card, a prepaid debit card um, for the dinner, and then he's able to pay for it. Very simple, okay? It's okay to support your man, and it's okay to um, empower him in that situation so he doesn't feel like the odd man out. You know, no pun intended. So he doesn't feel like, well, the other two men paid for the dinner, and I can't pay, and so now he doesn't want to go out 
ever again and so on and so forth and because you all did talk about it you don't know why and now he's feeling some type of way and see this is how relationships break down because you are not communicating you're not communicating okay so i want you to talk about that and figure out a way to make that work here's another question um me and my man are doing well and he wants to me and my man are doing well and he wants to borrow money to start a business how do i handle that okay so here's the deal he wants to borrow money to start a business and um, i'm imagining that you are together and you are in a relationship now i'm going to tell you something uh, do not get it on at night and then in the middle of getting it on uh, he says, uh, baby, I need to borrow $10,000 and you say yes. And tomorrow you go to the bank and make it happen. Mm -mm, that's not business. Okay. That sounds like something else, but it's not business. So if he asks you that question, the first thing you do is you say, let me think about it. You don't answer right away. You say, let me think about it. Okay. Say, wow. First of all, thank you for trusting me enough to ask me because it's hard to ask for help. And it's real hard in some cases for men to ask for help. So thank him for trusting you enough to ask you for the loan. But tell him you're going to think about it. All right. Now, come back within 24 hours. Don't make him wait for 15 hours, 15 years. Uh, I mean, uh, 15 days, 15 years. Mm -mm. No, don't leave anybody hanging. Within 24 hours, say, listen, I've thought about what you asked me. And here's how I handle business. Um, any decisions that I make, I run through my financial advisor. I run through my financial coach. So have him come talk to me. <laughs> Am I your financial coach? If I'm not, I should be, okay? So say, because if we're going to do this, we're going to put together a plan that we both agree with and that we both can ad uh, adhere to. And we're going to sign paperwork. And you're going to get attorneys involved and put together whatever the necessary paperwork is. And if he is willing to move forward in that direction, and if you are so inclined to do it, um, then just do it the right way. Handle it as business. Make it a business decision. And in business, you need to run his credit report. You need to uh, gather his assets. You need to know every. You need to handle it like a true business loan. Okay? And that goes for personal loans as well. All right? And if he becomes offended, guess what red flag red white and blue flag that's freedom okay that is your opportunity to move in the other direction so you want a healthy relationship you make more money than he does um i share more about this in my book your man and your money how to get them and how to keep them uh it's at my website um i talk about this and many other things but i want you to be free and i want you to own uh, the fact that you want a good relationship, a healthy relationship, and you don't know how to get there. So join me for Independence Day at AskLynn.org. Have a blessed day.